Welcome to another Power BI report presentation by Enterprise DNA. Today we have a simple model which measures the website analytics. We're focused in on, in on only a day's worth of data and only from users in the Asia Pacific area. We've very simply laid out all the key metrics in terms of visitor metrics, the performance of the website, and also some site metrics, including the amount, the percentage of emails that we are capturing from users. In this case, that's a very high ratio. You would ordinarily see that a lot lower, but we can look at it via, look at our visitors by city in a particular country. We can also see how many visitors are new visitors. This ordinarily would be quite low, but it also depends on what type of website you, you have. Where are visitors coming from in terms of the search engine or a web browser, the device and age segment. Here we have a bit more information around the performance of the website. So what was the last page, for instance, that was viewed? So what were, where, where did the user actually get bounced or where, where did that where were they when they left? Here, that's some really good information in regards to where you want people to navigate to within the site. Here we have some more key metrics shown over time in this case. Um, what we have here also is a great technique in Power BI where you can harvest your measures within a filter. So what we can do is we can actually change the dimensions of a chart based on a filter up here and, and complete a totally different calculation. Website conversions. So here we have a have some information on sentiment um, and also some spark lines which are being used to show some short-term trends. Here we also look at the inf are looking at some keyword information or keyword rankings. So so you might want to understand where you are ranked or see trends of where you are ranked in certain search engines, namely Google. Also, we have some information on our subscribers cumulatively, how many people are actually subs subscribing. And lastly, we have some information around the sentiment of people using our site. 